August the 19th, and we are zooming towards Elk Lake Resort. We have about 1.3 to the junction to get to the resort, and then it's another 1.2 or so to take the side trail to get there. But I'm going to flip this around because we're about to go into like a meadow, and maybe we'll see some cranes. I doubt it. I don't hear them. Got into camp last night. Talk to 50 Cent about her plans for today and tomorrow. Today's going to be a big day. Today I might have to night hike until 9. Originally, the plan was to do 20 miles today, plus go get breakfast at the resort. So, ultimately, maybe a 20 to 22 mile day altogether. Um, but, because Hurricane Hillary is hitting the West Coast soon, like today and then tomorrow and next couple of days. Anyways, the weather might be getting bad. Um, after talking to having his family look into it and stuff, we might try to do 24 PCT miles plus the two to go get breakfast, um, which will turn into a 26 mile day. Normally, about like for that, um, and I still am, but the problem is, is the food. <laughs> I'm going to get food, and that takes a lot of time, and, um, even if I'm not only, if I'm not, you know, eh, if I'm only sitting there for an hour, you know, like, it takes a lot of time out of my day for hiking, and I'm not the fastest hiker. Um, 50 Cent is faster than me, it was his natural hiking pace. So he can knock out a 26 and do town food if he, if he wanted to. Not easily, but easy, easier than I can. Um, but that's not the point. The point is, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it or he's trying to make it tonight. Um, even if that means I have to night hike until 9 p.m. Just because um, of the storm. And we want to get closer to town, too. Um, so if we do 24 PCC, PCT miles today, then that'll put us about 12 miles out from town tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we're going to give it a shot, but I'm not giving up breakfast. <laughs> I'm still going to get breakfast. Worst case, if I don't make it to where he is, I'll be waking up at 3 a.m. and hiking out by 4 <laughs> so, to catch up. Um, anyways, so that's the plan. But it's a little nippy this morning, so I'm going to put away my phone because my hands are getting cold. Time to go into town. So I keep on spooking these little green frogs.
got about a little less than nine miles to go to camp and the smoke is rolling into this valley it's <coughs> settling into the valley and I've been coughing a little bit just because it's stronger <laughs> than it has been all day so I'm hoping it's a little windy but I'm hoping maybe the wind will clear some of it out or I can get high enough where I'm above this a little bit but yeah I wonder how much of of this kind of smoke you're supposed to breathe in before you're supposed to wear a mask. I don't know. I'll have to ask 50 Cent. He's from California, so he would know. But yeah, I'm going to get hiking. It's going to be it's almost 9 o'clock before I get to camp. So, bye! <laughs> I actually do this. Um, it's around 7.30 p.m. We only have 2.5-ish to go to get to camp and that I want to get to and also 2.5-ish to a marathon day. Um, when we went to the Elk Lake Resort, it was 1.3, yeah, either 1.2 or 1.3 go out there and back so that would have been at most 2.6 and then we hiked 24 point something PCT miles so definitely got a little bit over um, a marathon and are going to have a little bit over a marathon into today and I might actually get into camp with a little teensy bit of daylight left um, because about 2.5 takes me about an hour and 15 minutes. So, we'll see. But I'm going to put this down and focus on getting into camp. I don't want to film myself and talk, but I was talking to a hiker worth it, and he camped, I don't know, probably about 0.4 back from where I am right now, and we were talking about, like, I was like, oh, hey, you know, like, what's your trail name and stuff, because we had chatted a little bit, and I was just like, oh, are you going into town tomorrow, too, and he was like, actually, I'm not, I have a box set big youth camp which is like um 20 miles away or something from here um and it's also in between the two roads that take you into Bender Sisters and then I was like oh well we're gonna try to get in on 242 um the first way to get in sister and he goes that road is closed and I was like what <laughs> what do you mean that road's closed and I happened to hike a little further and get enough internet service, thank God, to look into why that road is closed. And it's because of the wildfire. There's a wildfire that is near Bend and Sisters. And the smoke is so bad on 242 that they closed the road going from where we need to be picked up. Basically to Sisters. Because it's like 17 miles. And they closed 15 of those 17 miles. <laughs> Um, because the smoke is so thick, that's like dense fog, like, they don't want anybody driving on, and they just closed it, like, last night, 
and the fire's getting bigger. Um, as far as us being in danger of the, directly of the fire, we are, we won't be, we'll be fine. Um, I'm not sure how close it is to Sisters or Bend, um, but the article made it sound like it's, the fire's not very close to either town yet. Um, it's just the smoke is really affecting the area. Um, but yeah, one of the, the guys that maintains a water cache at 242, um, basically just left a note today saying like, Hey, sorry, but with the, with the road closure, I can't keep up with this water cache. Um, and he posted it, I don't know when today, cause when I updated my, um, comments, I did it when we were at Elk Lake Resort and I didn't see it then. So he must have done it this afternoon, probably shortly after it was officially closed. Um, the question is, is does 50 cent know? Um, and second, because that means his brother can't come pick us up if the road's closed. No one can come pick us up. And we were 12 miles away from that road. And... When I get to camp, I'll be like just under 30 to the other main road where you can get into um, town from. Because it's like 20 miles from 242, the road, the highway to 242. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do. I really don't. And it's late and I'm tired. Um, and I still have to set up camp and... I ate a bit when I got water last, but, you know, I, I need to eat again, and it's just, it's just a, a teeny bit disappointing, not because of getting into town, but, like, I have an appointment to get my tent fixed um, on Monday at 10 o'clock in Bend, and I don't know if I'm going to make it, and that's fine, I'll just have to reschedule. And just let her know, like, hey, we tried to get there, but they closed the road, and now we have to hike more than we anticipated. Um, but the thing is, is I should have enough food. And if I'm running out of food, we could go to Big Youth Camp. I think they're still open and serving food there. They serve meals three times a day. Um... Yeah, anyways, I just needed to get my thoughts out. Like, I don't I don't know what we're going to do. Again, it's not an emergency situation, but at the same point, like, I need to make sure he has enough food. I think he does if he has to go another day. If not, I can try to give him a little bit of mine. I do have one um, dehydrated meal that I don't really like. Um, and I have a ramen. So I don't have a lot of time left. On my phone. I'm not sure how much of this was recorded in the first place. I just realized I was rambling and my phone has stuff recording here. But I only have 2 minutes and 54 seconds. 2 minutes now on my phone left um, to record stuff. So I, I, I'll check in with you guys maybe in a couple of days. Bye.